For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see that how to resize partition size without losing the data. Uh, you can resize the LVM which is very easy process but if you want to resize a standard partition um, what is the steps you have to use like share comment and subscribe so how we can resize the partitions so what are the limitations we have over here so um, do practical uh, and check this uh, options so basically if you have the hard drive uh, example something like this my hard drive so here um, there is some conditions if you want to up, uh, e extend these partitions or the reduce the partition size so so example here in my case uh, in this practical how I have is that uh, I have uh, partition one here so the partition one is um, my operating system and uh, is loaded over here and another partition I have uh, maybe some data over here okay this is my root partition so here I have partition number another one another partition so which is the partition number three is um, I have um, 2 GB in size which has some data so what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to make this 2 GB partition into 3 GB here. So from this 2 GB to I am going to extend this partition until this one. So this may be 1 GB. So 1 GB plus 2 GB is going to 3 GB. So which is going to be the partition 3 is going to be 3 GB in size. So here there is some condition that immediate after whenever you want to extend the partition size immediate after this end block example say that the block is ended around uh, 14,000 something like that so after this immediately you have to have some uh, unallocated space so that you can merge this unallocated space into this partition so that your partition will be extended example in this scenario so in this scenario so I have the partition 3 uh, in here so I have some other partitions maybe I have partition 2 here and maybe partition 3 here and uh, I maybe have some other partition in the middle I have unallocated spaces over here so in that case you cannot extend this uh, this partition immediately so that won't work so be careful whenever you are extending the partition so whenever you want to extend the partition immediate after the uh, your partition end size you have to have some unallocated space so that you can merge the partition size so otherwise you cannot do it successfully so most of the times it fails so that's why do remember this one so that you can extend it so here how you can extend what is the process here so what we are going to do here it is that we are not going to format this partition remember do not format the partition if you after extending if you format it then it's you will lose entire data so how we can do that so what you are going to do is that um, so let's see this uh, I have written some steps here so cat research partition here so here what I'm going to do I'm going to take the backup of this one so first of all safe side in case something goes wrong on the partition still I have my backup data here so I can restore it back so you must to take the backup first in order to do this practical so, okay then what you have to do unmount the file system so unmount the file system using the umount command then then delete the existing by using the FTSC utility you have to uh, enter into that uh, uh, device and delete the partition remember deleting existing partition in a sense which partition you want to delete so you are not going to delete the partition p1 or p2 okay you are going to delete the partition p3 which is required to extend 
so that's what you have to remember okay then create new partition with extended size what you are going to do is that you are going to delete the existing partition and save this configuration here and come back again going to the F disk utility and extend the partition size so maybe in this example my partition size was 2 gb and i am going to create the new partition with the 3 gb which is called the partition number 3 run file system check then you have to run the file system check in order to verify whether the blocks are correct or whether is there any inode like is there any error on the file system you have to verify then resize the file system so you have to do resize the file system example say that here i have the hard drive and the partition something like this this partition has been extended so but until this here only i have the file system so this remaining space i do not have any file system so what i am going to do my file system is ext4 so what i am going to do i am going to do a resize fs so what happens everything from this 2 gb and this um, this 1 gb will be added with the xt4 file system then the 2 gb will become a 3 gb then mount and use the partition so this is how you can uh, do your partition resizing let's jump into the practical and see how we can do that So this is my RHCL8 and you can check verify this um, DFF and H. This is my partition here which has 2 GB in size. Uh, it is mounted to slash data. So I am just going to extend this partition to uh, 3 GB. So now let's unmount this file system. Okay. Now go to the slash etc fs tab and uh, remove this uh, uncomment this comment this entry. So that whenever some administrator type any command it will won't un, it won't mount again so now uh, what i'm going to do is that again check verify that dff and h and see there is no mount point so now go into f disk slash dv slash nvme this one zero two nvme 0 n2 and go now verify the partitions i partitions how many partitions i have here you can see one partition is there with the 2 gb okay and delete this partition okay the partition has been deleted in this case i have only single partition here i am just deleted the same partition uh, now write the changes so now you can see that the partition table is failed to device resource is busy something like that you got the error that's okay no problem and again go back to the uh, uh, here in the f disk utility then uh, create the new partition here n and uh, enter default partition number and uh, enter the first sector is the starting sector is same and uh, add 3 gb here plus 3 gb now partition has been created is asking that do you want to remove the existing signature which is 64 no i don't want to delete any signature from this one so the file system should exist say no now write check that file system the partition which is exit and uh, write and exit from the app disk utility now let's run um, e2fsck on that file system that uh, partition so that it uh, verifies that whether do i have any file system level errors if any it will automatically fix it so now e2fsck f and f and verifying this uh, directory structure and i know details all the stuff and it says file system was modified okay now you can do a resize to fs and provide this uh, partition name and uh, enter so that it will automatically do on a online resizing of that partition 
and uh, uncomment the fs tab entry and mount iphone a and verify that df and h so that you can see 2.9 gb in size the data size has been increased from 2 gb to 2.9 gb in size so which is almost a 3 gb in size partition so that's how we can increase the um, partition size please follow us on social networking sites uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux ark it uh, you can click on this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on facebook the next one is instagram uh, instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a ravikumar48 so i will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want to latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here